Check your project directory. Make sure you're set to a folder called Armatures. Click OK. Go to File and load a scene from the Scenes folder called Armatures.fxs. Armatures cover a lot of ground in Messiah. They can control any aspect of Messiah, including the interface, scripts, etc. It's really hard to show you the scope of armatures without first giving you a small demonstration of what they can do as an animation tool. Right now we're going to use armatures to create hand controls for this arm. Let's click into the command tab and give you a basic run through. I've added several variables already to this arm to control it. For example, when we highlight the wrist and bank the wrist, the wrist twists. Same thing with the bicep. When we select the fingers, the fingers curl from the tip of the fingers instead of the base. So when we pitch down, the fingers curl over. That's what the variables do. Our big problem is when we click into the Animate tab, we have a very long list to go through when we want to animate each individual finger. We're going to use armatures to simplify this list into icons that are visible on screen all the time. So the first thing we're going to do is click into Setup, and let's click to the Groups tab and we'll assign a key frameable group to all of the objects here. I've red locked the ones that don't need to be keyframed. So highlight the top, hold down the control key, and multi-select all of the objects that are keyframable. Go to the top, click on the plus button to create our group. Let's name this one arm underscore full body keys. Now right click to deselect everything and click into the armatures tab to create our controls. First thing we need to do is add an armature. So click on new armature. I like the wrist here. Tap the A key to center our selection. This is the main toolbox for all of our controls for this particular one. Double click on the name and let's rename that one to arm underscore hand controls R because it's the right hand check real-time draw and let's just draw some controls. Let's click once at the base, click once at the end here, that's the first finger. We'll click again at the second finger, it's going to have two controls, third finger is going to have two controls, and the thumb. Uncheck real-time draw and let's name them all. We'll start with the base here. We'll call this one arm underscore pinky base R. The next one arm underscore pinky tip R. Let's just parent those to each other. You can see it draws a line between them. Handle 2, arm underscore middle base R. Next handle, arm underscore middle tip R. Just parent that so it draws a line between the two. Next one, arm underscore index base R arm underscore index tip R. Parent that to the base. Last handle, arm underscore thumb base R. Arm underscore thumb tip R. Parent that to the base. If you don't wish to see lines connecting the children to the parents, just go down to the handle block and uncheck show line. Show node just turns off the icon. We're going to use both of these icons because it's an animation control. Now the problem we have right now is they're not attached. They're just icons that have the same names and they're sitting in the same spot. Right now they're floating around in 3D space. So you look at the handle block and there's a pull down menu called controller that tells each node what object it's going to attach itself to. In this case, let's go back to our pseudo 3D view. We'll highlight the base of the pinky and under the controller bring up the pull down menu. We'll highlight down here pinky R. You can see it's snapped to the base. Go to the tip, which is pinky 3R. You can click in the 3D view to highlight them. Set the controller on the middle to middle R and middle tip R. We'll set the controller to middle 3R. Index base goes to index R, index tip, index 3R. Thumb base goes to thumb R, thumb tip goes to thumb 2R. So now we have our armatures attached to the bones. We want to adjust the position of these icons 
so that they more better represent the tactile feel that we want to see. For example, if I'm going to curl this from the tip, I'd like this icon to be right at the tip instead of sitting here on the second knuckle. So to make it more aesthetically pleasing, we're going to offset these nodes so they're right on top of the bones that we think we'd be grabbing if we were animating this in the real world. So we'll just start with the pinky tip here, we'll highlight it, and under offset, down here in the handle block, go to local space. And the fields read left to right, X, Y, Z, so the last field is along Z. So just run that up until it reaches the tip of the pinky. Go to middle tip right, we'll set the offset to local space, spin that up till it hits the tip. Index tip, set to local space, spin it up till it hits the tip of the finger. Thumb tip, set it to local space till it hits the tip. Let's do the same thing for the base, we're going to move the base to the second knuckle. So while our pinky base is highlighted, set the offset to local space and run it along Z till it hits knuckle. Go to middle base, set it to local space, spin that up till it hits the knuckle. Index base, local space, up till it hits the knuckle. Thumb base, same thing. So now we have control sitting in the spots that we want them to be if we were animating this like a stop motion puppet. It doesn't affect the functionality at all, but it does make it feel a lot easier to animate. So now that we have these icons attached, we can place certain actions on these armatures to control our bones. In this case, up in the action block, there's a type of action, a click or a drag. We'll leave it on drag, and the action it executes. In this case, it'll be a controller drag, which means when you click on the icon, it starts feeding channels from the mouse movement into its controller. So we'll highlight pinky tip R, and add a controller drag to it, open that up, you can see a left mouse button, middle mouse button, and right mouse button. You can control three axes through your mouse with just one icon. In this case, we're only controlling pitch. So we'll set the left mouse button to pitch. The zero channel is X translate. One, two, three is heading. You can see heading is purple, and four is pitch. We'll deactivate these other two channels and close that up. You want to check that out, click into animate, grab the tip with the left mouse click, and it curls over. Go back into setup. Let's do the same thing for the middle, index, and thumb tips. Let's add a controller drag to that. Go up here. Zero is X translate, one is Y, two is Z translate, three is heading, four is pitch. Deactivate those other two. Close it up. Go to index tip add another controller, open that, set the first one to channel 4 which is pitch, we'll deactivate the other two, close it up, thumb tip, add the controller, open it up, first channel set to 4, deactivate the other two so it's only left mouse button, and close that up, so click into animate, we can just highlight the tips of these and control the fingers, just by clicking and dragging. Let's go back into setup and do that for the base. We're going to add extra controls to the base. For example, we want to pitch the base down when we grab the base with the left mouse button. We can rotate it left and right on heading with the right mouse button. We'll start with the pinky. Highlight pinky base. We'll add a controller drag to that. Let's open it up. We'll set the first one to pitch just like the other one, channel 4. We'll deactivate middle mouse button, and we'll set right mouse button to heading, which is channel 3. Close that up. If you click into the Animate tab, you can see if you right mouse click, he rotates on heading. Left mouse click, he rotates his fingers up and down on pitch. Go back into Setup. Do the same thing for the other bases. The middle base right, add the controller drag. We're going to set the first channel to channel 4, which is pitch. Deactivate middle mouse button, set the third one to heading, which is channel 3. Close that up, go to index base, we'll add a controller to that. Channel 4 for the left mouse button, deactivate middle mouse, channel 3 for the right mouse button. Close that up, base, open that, channel 4 for the left mouse button, 
Channel 3 for the right mouse button. Deactivate middle mouse. Close that up. So we click into animate. If we right mouse click, we can rotate on heading all of the fingers just by highlighting the icon with the right mouse. With the left mouse, we can pitch it up and down. Click on the ends with the left mouse button, and we can set the channels on the finger curls with just a drag. Now we don't have to worry about this giant list here. We can just hide all the other bones. Start with the wrist, highlight the wrist, hold down the control key, and just toggle those all to N so they disappear, and then change the wrist back to E, and close it down. Same thing with the other bones here that have not been added to the keyframe group. We'll just highlight all the red locks. Right mouse click and change the draw modes to N. Right mouse click to deselect it. So now we have a fairly clean control. Go to File. We're going to save this scene as armatures A.fxs.